A cyborg and a drone pilot team up on a secret mission through a futuristic war-torn Russia. And this is not a happy-go-lucky romp through the war zone. So let's talk about the new Netflix movie, Outside the Wire, right now. Welcome to the Entertainment Jungle. I'm Cornelius, and on the show we have Ryan the Lion. How's it going? Number 66. Hello there. And Walter. Yo, yo. And I want to know, what are some overall thoughts on this movie, and was it a well-done action movie? I want to start with number 66. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Next. Walter, what do you <laughs> Unexpectedly, I have a lot of issues with this movie. I thought I was going to like it, and all I can say is, wow. If you didn't have issues with this movie, th I'd have an issue with that. <laughs> mm. But it's an action movie, so I was like, oh, I'm going to love this, and yeah, <laughs> no, no. Ryan the Lion. Uh, gotta agree with Walter. I thought I was going to like it. It's action, it's sci-fi, it's got Anthony Mackie, who I like, but uh, <laughs> similarly, I have some issues. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, break the trend here, but I had a lot of plot issues. <laughs> I mean, I mean, seriously, ultimately my questions were why. They had some cool action, but uh, the plot, my main question, I don't even know if this is really a question, but if they had robots and drones, why did they need people on the ground at all? That's where it started for me. I don't know. <laughs> Can I just float downstream and forget this uh, whole thing ever happened? R ridiculous. I can't even, like, wrap my head, like, much like you said, like, they have... They have robots, they have drones, they have AI humanoid androids. That, like, he was already a captain, and he existed for, they said, five years. Why did they need any human beings at this point? They needed to explain at least a little more of how the humans and robots kind of work together and what purpose each role has. Like, they were just there, and it was like, all right. Why were they called Gumps? I never got that. It's got to be an acronym. Right. But they, they didn't explain it, but it's got to be an acronym. acronym. Yeah. Yeah, but the, so the whole time, I'm just like, Forrest Gump, are you calling these dumb <laughs> robots? Like, is that what you're doing? Because you're making, you're, are you making fun of Forrest Gump? Like, what is this? Or is or was it an acronym? I also thought it was an acronym that they just didn't explain. Well, I did too, but I'm like... Which is crazy <laughs> yeah. to have an acronym that you created for this movie and don't explain. Yeah, it's not yeah. like... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this isn't really a spoiler because Anthony Mackie is a, a robot, an AI, artificial intelligence. He's in the poster as a robot, and you very early on you find out. So that's not really a spoiler. But I guess he doesn't follow Isaac Asimov's three rules of robotics. Was that the whole point of this movie? Because if anyone knows that, the laws are he's supposed to not harm a human and not do anything that puts humans in harm's way, and that was definitely not the case in this movie. Well, this, this you just pull that from iRobot? <laughs> well, no, iRobot well, is from based, a book, but like, yeah, yeah iRobot. But, I mean, the issue with AI, the issue that we always, well, this is gonna be a spoiler. But the issue that we always run into with AI is that, while yes, those are the rules that are supposed to rule it the fear with ai is that ai will ultimately determine that humans are the most dangerous thing to humans and that is why they turn on us <laughs> well that's the whole point of the the whole point of the movie which is really silly yeah the whole movie is just anyway <laughs> the whole point was he feels as though if the usa if they succeed in whatever they're stupid mission was that um, they're going to make more of him and that's going to be a bad thing for the future of humankind so maybe it does kind of follow your ideas there but his point was i have to go rogue in order to save the human race from doing this stupid thing again mm -hmm. he stole his plan from the watchmen you know that, right? He stole his plan from the bad guy in the watch. It was the exact same plan. It was the exact same plan. I wasn't even clear on why he had to nuke America. It was all convoluted to me. I didn't understand why his final goal would automatically be like, okay, the robots are bad, right? Yeah, it was crazy, but I mean... Because he like malfunctioned. Said, Inevitably, he malfunctioned and turned the nukes to America so see, that America... No, I didn't see that. Malfunction. He didn't malfunction. I didn't see that malfunction. as a malfunction. He determined that no, the he only didn't way... malfunction, but the American government would see it as a malfunction and yes. say, well, we can't yes. do this yes. because these people yes. can inevitably just... 
remove their chips from the back of their thing and do some wild stuff. So why would we continue to manufacture these robot human things? Yeah. So if 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 they could nuke America, then obviously we're not going to continue to build an army of these people, robot things. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, exactly. He determined that his existence was the most dangerous thing. Yes. And in order to prevent more being created like him. He had to turn on his master, essentially, and nuke America. Oh, which why is... am I backing this movie? I feel like I'm backing this movie. Yeah, I mean, it's a wild <laughs> idea, but I mean, that's just it's what it so is. It's so bad. Like, like, I mean, I'm not saying so it's a bad. good idea. It's just what his idea was. And I think it was because America was the one who star- who are capable of creating these robots. And he was like, we can't have these robots versus robots because of the amount of collateral damage in mm-hmm. not America, everywhere else. So he was showing, like, hey, we can't do this. If I malfunction, we're not going to do this, and then we'll just do the normal war like they've been doing. Yeah, no one else had the technology right now. And on top of that, even though it didn't seem to be part of his reasoning, America was the aggressor in this war where everyone else wanted peace. Yeah. Yes. Even though like yeah. yes. that didn't seem to be his motivation, that was also just thrown in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah by somebody else. <laughs> Walter, you're right, Walter. To go off of your point, it would have been war on without end. War without end. If it was just robot on robot, this AI thing that he was, and that's why he did it. And I hated this movie. I don't even know why I'm backing it. It sucked. You're not backing it. You're just explaining it for people who watch it going, what just happened? You're almost explaining it better than the movie did. <laughs> As my wife said, it was literally just the cut scenes from a video game. That's how it felt yeah, to me. Yeah. Was just cut scenes from a video game. I, I was going to ask Cornelius, Gears of War, did you, did you not see that? Those are the Gears of War. I, yeah, I made... Well, that, that alludes to yeah. 66's point of these were cutouts from a video yeah. game. Yeah, but you still have to play the video game to get the rest of the story. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like... I mean, that's how it works. Well, there was a character that wasn't a robot in this, and that was one of my other issues I had with this. Do you think the character traits of the drone pilot... All right, so you knew what was going to happen when he he made a decision early on, and then he was going to be in the war, and that was going to affect his decisions, and you knew there was going to be a moment where the drone pilot was going to have to strike on innocence. But my problem was he immediately changed from this cold-hearted drone pilot that's very calculating to completely the opposite of that, where he was completely scared immediately and he couldn't make a decision. I hated that character. I think it, it, it was it was more like, you know, those guys who were like real tough guys behind a keyboard. Yeah. But in real life, they're scared as hell, which is why they act tough behind a keyboard. <laughs> His character was just nothing but a whiny brat. And I hated I, I, it. I agree. He could not listen to command. I'm like, that's exactly yeah. what you have to that's do. That's his whole job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I don't get it. And then Your whole you... job is listening to orders and he never did. <laughs> and like, I mean, who are you? Where are you coming from thinking that you can tell other people, oh, I'm going to do this. Why? Who are you again? Like, get, get out of here. And, like, even his superior, like, kind of had his back. He was like, why? Yeah. This guy hasn't done anything right. I saved you from going to jail. But why? Why do I got to do this? I don't get how he's so cold-hearted, like you were saying in the beginning. He killed two of his own men. But then a guy who just sniped three innocent people, which were doctors, nurses, he's like, don't do that. You can't do that. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you letting him kill him? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Your, your buddies, you just blew up easily but then this you're like nah let's not let's not give justice to these people before the first scene was over i knew the progression of this character and i still didn't like it and (laughs) i thought that they could have done like i said the cold calculating thing a little better on the ground he didn't have to immediately become so scared i don't know but that didn't make any sense because that was the enemy you killed your own team but you're okay like i that just bothered me from the beginning i'm like come on i hate when people have those moral dilemmas when you kill an enemy yeah especially when we saw earlier that he was already a person who was able to determine that oh if it's for if i think it's for the greater good then i don't have a problem with it i mean i guess at the same time it's probably a lot harder face to face than when you're doing it from behind a computer screen but yeah. still i mean he he went through training he was a soldier i assume apparently he saw not s- Apparently not, because through the whole movie, he did not know how to shoot until the very end. He was scared the whole time. And I even, I wanted to love that character, too. I wanted to love him. It was just tough. You feel like you want to like somebody, right? I love Leo. I loved Leo the whole time. It was cool. I was rooting for him to succeed the whole time. He's a robot, yeah. though. Like you don't have a person to root for. That would have been a good ending if the if he actually succeeded, and then it was just that, that would have been fun. Yeah. That would have been cool. I thought that was gonna happen. I was like, I think that would have helped. Yeah, the bad guy succeeds or whatever. Right. 
No, Corn- Cornelius, you're right. He's not necessarily the bad guy, though. See, again, that's why Watchmen did it better. I thought it was going to end where the rocket launches, and then everyone's like, oh, shit, and then they fade to black. <laughs> you know, one of those kind of things. That's I don't know. fine. That would have been better than this ending. <laughs> Are there any specifics? Positive. We went through plenty of negative. I enjoyed watching the girl when she was, like, being a badass, and, like, you had no idea. You're like, oh, she's a school teacher in this, like, orphanage. And then she just, like, lay the smack down. I'm like, this is great. <laughs> you know, that was the best part of the movie for me was watching her go around and just beat people up. There were some cool things. I mean, I know Mythbusters might not agree. I liked when he threw the grenade and, and then shot, shot it at the robot. Uh, I, that I had that cool. thought, too. That was cool. The action, just in general, it, it made the movie bearable, I would assume. For once, I think we're all in agreement with what the ratings are. IMDb, on average, gave this a 5.4 out of 10. The critics, 35% out of 100. And the audience score was even lower, 33%. Tons of problems. Let's see what our banana rating is. Final thoughts. Do you recommend this? Let's go in the same order. 66. No, right? No. Move on. No. Uh, No, I'll give it exactly what the audience gave it. I'll give it a 3.3. Just for fun. 66 gives it a 33. (laughs) 3.3. Because this never really happens. I'm giving it a 3.3 just like... 66 so we are on the Woo! same page for a chance too many plot holes the uh i like the action i don't think anyone should watch this if they don't really want to waste their time but however a positive out of this i'm really excited to see anthony mackie uh in the next uh, marvel movie if he's going to be captain or falcon um either way excited to see him as as the lead actually i could agree with that uh ryan the lion it is disappointing it was also long like this was like a yes. two-hour movie <laughs> This, I, we were, I thought the same thing. <laughs> I think I was I was about like an hour and 20 minutes in, and I was like, oh, so this has got to be like wrapping up. And then I was like, what? 40 minutes. So there's <laughs> another reason. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm in agreement with the other uh, animals in the jungle here. I'm going to give it 3.3 bananas. Uh, there was some cool action. <laughs> I still like Anthony Mackie a lot, but there's just way too many issues. Well, I really want to give it a 3.3 now. My, I was... I mean, I thought the action was cool, and it was pretty decent effects for a low-budget movie. Fine. I'll give it a 3.3. <laughs> <laughs> we yes. all did. I don't care. I was going to go a little higher, like 4 or 5, but... I was thinking 4 until they they were like, you know what? I can, I can get on board with 3.3. Three, three. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was like 4 or 5, but just to make it easy for the average, we're going to go 3.3 <laughs> 3 out of 10. You probably want to steer away from this one. If you just want a mindless robot action movie, I guess watch it, but don't think about it too hard. Now, tell us what you thought. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, and come back anytime and join the conversation. You're always welcome here at the Entertainment Jungle. Quack you next time. Did anybody uh, enjoy the, the slumpus that the guy was using? Every time he had a injury, he put he slapped those on and he's good to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> those are some good band-aids. Can I have some? No, that was perfect marketing right there. Just put slumpus on there so that you go to Target. That's what you want to get. <laughs>